trip down and back is is worth it because you see such spe spectacular scenery. One hundred miles southwest of Anchorage lies more than two million acres of wild Alaska. Lake Clark National Park, often called the essence of Alaska. It's just more rugged, more wild, more intense. So I think it's just something that's undiscovered. A place where everything seems sideways, where people walk among the bears, and the wild seems both intimidating and inviting. There might be a situation where a bear comes pretty close. Either we can move out of the way or we might have to move the bear a little bit. Where's my mom? From June to September, the bears graze the sedge flats, an easy source of protein for mom and her cubs. Still, the yearling begs for milk. Oh, wow. It's quiet enough you can hear. They kind of make a really cool purring noise when they're nursing to let her know that, you know, they're still being able to nurse well. Bears are known for being solitary creatures, but these bears have learned to tolerate each other and people. I'll look back and people will be whispering, like, is this guy crazy? What's going on here? And so then I have to say, okay, this is why in this situation we can approach this bear. Because when they're out in the open, I think that's the beauty of it, is we get a window into a bear's life. You can really be more interactive and be out and be close to the bears, and it's just a cool experience. From the time the cubs emerge from their dens, being around people has been normal. But that feeling often isn't shared. Yeah, I don't think I would say I'm scared, but it's definitely um, a healthy adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah. Those who've discovered Silver Salmon Creek for themselves often can't take it all in at once. And this is my second time. Actually, it's my third time here. And still, the park has one of the lowest visiting rates. But it couldn't handle many more people to keep the same dynamic with the brown bears. In the busier parts like Yosemite, it, it's just a little staged. You know, there's so much going on. Mm. and. And yes, it, yes, it's wilderness, but not particularly, whereas here it's the real thing. It is more natural here. There isn't the sense that um, you're in a kind of controlled environment. It's the sense that you're on the edge of you know, the, the wilderness in the sort of truest sense. At the water's edge, the bears wait for the silver salmon. The fish are late this year, at least a week away, but still worth waiting for. It was our 50th wedding anniversary and I surprised her with the, with the trip. Hal and Linda Rupert say it was one of the high points of their time together to share in this emotion, once undiscovered. I'll remember this for the next 50 years, if I'm alive. <laughs> Let's hope, but you never know. <laughs> yes, yeah, because he's going to have to surprise me again. <laughs> with photographer Mike Niederbrock, I'm Ashton Goodell, day tripping with the bears of Silver Salmon Creek.